Not only did I notice that the gap between the table and the map was so small, I also noticed that there's no legend on the map to try and show and depict what this brown blob actually means. So first of all, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a legend. So I click on my map perspective on the left hand side. And my little green arrow here is I select the base map to use. In this case, it's Western Cape Test. So if I load it, and I right click and I say zoom to layer, here it is here. In order to add a legend, you click on this, add a layer to map, and it is a, called a map decoration. When you have a map in a report, normal elements that you would like to add is normally a north arrow, a legend, and a scale bar. Everything else is optional, but these should be normally be a priority. As soon as I click OK, you will see that my legend appears in the bottom right, north arrow and scale bar on the top left. In this case, I do not want patrol sectors, conservation area, these layers to be on or visible in my legend because they are not applicable here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also change the location of this north arrow. So I right click and I say change style. The location is currently left and top. I'm going to make it left and right. You'll see it changes to the top right. Scale bar, I will do exactly the same, but I want it bottom left. There it is there. I'm happy with this map, so I save. And I override an existing one. And then I'll just make sure that in this case, I'm going to use it as my default for now. So when I go back to my report and I edit it, I will be able to see when I set the boundaries, there's my legend, my scale bar and my north arrow. Don't be afra afraid that it doesn't all fit into this extent of this window here. It's just to give you an idea of where it is. So now if I run my report, there's the North Arrow, there's the legend telling me that the carcass of Irland would be in blue and the red for African Wild Dog, and there's my scale bar. So now we're going to change the way in which the table above is in relation to the map below. So if I click on this grid, so it's the grid that I'm more looking at, not the table. I look at the bottom here and I say and I see my apologies, the cell. If I click on it and I say padding, so the cell that houses the table if I click on padding, you'll see this top, bottom, left, right. So if I click on the bottom and I make it, say, for example, 15 points, you will see there becomes they become, they become space there available. So if I click save and I run my report, I should now have a little bit of a gap between the table and the map below it, as you can see here. You could do the same thing with a map. You just click on the map um, and you make sure that it just sits correctly there.